The Electoral Department General Elections 2021 Voting Procedure COVID-19 All polling stations will be sanitized prior to polling day and after. On election day, polling stations must be opened at 6.30 a.m. and closed at 6 p.m. Once your name is on the voters list, all efforts will be made to ensure that you cast your ballot. You can vote with your national ID card. If you do not have a national ID card, you can vote with any photo ID such as a driver's license, passport or any other means which will allow you to be identified to the satisfaction of the presiding officer. Social distancing will be maintained at all polling stations. Safety tips and COVID protocols will be posted inside and outside the polling stations. No electronic devices, cell phones, cameras, tablets, smart devices, smart watches, etc. will be allowed in the polling station. Voting procedure on election day. Upon entering the compound to the polling station, an assistant poll clerk will assist you in locating your correct polling station. At the polling station, the elector will be sanitized by an assistant poll clerk and be asked to put away all electronic devices. The elector will be directed to the area with the poll clerk and the presiding officer. The elector will be required to lower his or her face mask for identification purposes while holding up his or her national ID card or any other form of identification. Poll clerk will call out the name and registration number of the voter so the agents can hear. The poll clerk and agent will ascertain that the name called is on the voter's list. The poll clerk draws a line through the elector's name and then make proper entries in the poll book. The elector is asked to put away his or her national ID card or any other form of identification used. Before the presiding officer issues the elector a ballot paper, he or she shall ascertain whether the elector has not previously voted then proceeds to examine the hands and fingers of the elector. After which, the voter will be sanitized to avoid any contamination to the electoral ink. If there is no electoral ink, the presiding officer will ask the elector to immerse his or her right index finger into the electoral ink. The presiding officer will then issue a ballot paper to the elector and instruct the elector on the correct way to mark and fold the ballot. The elector is to use only the pencil provided for voting to mark his or her ballot. When the elector has marked and folded his or her ballot as instructed, the elector then proceeds to the presiding officer. The elector will show the presiding officer his or her initials on the ballot paper without unfolding the ballot paper. A valid ballot should have the initials of the presiding officer on the top right hand corner. Once the presiding officer is satisfied this is the same ballot that was issued, the elector will place the ballot in the ballot box in the presence of the presiding officer. After casting his or her ballot, the elector will collect all items left at the entrance of the polling station and leave the polling station. An assistant poll clerk will sanitize the voting booth after every elector cast his or her ballot and sanitize all equipment periodically. To vote is your constitutional right.